it's Reverend Helen here. I hope that you're doing okay. Let's just take a moment to settle ourselves and get comfy. Perhaps have a little wiggle and a stretch so that we can sit still for a few minutes. Let's think about our breathing. Perhaps put your hand on your chest and take a deep breath in and out and in and out. Breathing is amazing, isn't it? We do it without even having to think about it, but sometimes just focusing on our breathing can help to calm us down when we're a bit overexcited or maybe when we're a little bit scared. I wonder how you're feeling today. This week is a bit different for all of us. Whether we've been at school with our teachers all this time or we've been doing school at home, this week we're all getting used to being back together. And change can make us feel a lot of different things. Sometimes we feel all those things at the same time. But however we're feeling, wherever we are, whatever we're doing, God is with us and we can talk to him about it. So let's do that now. Father God, thank you that you are with us. When things change and when things stay the same, thank you that you love us. Thank you that your love for us is strong and never changes. Amen. Over the last few weeks, we've been thinking about the Psalms. These are some poems and songs and prayers which are right in the middle of the Bible. And they tell us all sorts of things about God, that he's a safe place, a light, that his love is higher than the sky and that he knows us and cares for us. In Psalm 18 verse 1, it says this, I love you, Lord, you are my strength. David, who became a great king, wrote this psalm. And he says that God is his rock, his fortress, which is like a strong castle, his protection, his shield, his power. Those are all really strong things. I wonder what strong things you can think of. David said these things when God had rescued him. Now, if he needed rescuing, I imagine he wasn't feeling very strong himself. I wonder how would you describe God? Would you describe him as strong like a rock? This is a rock from my garden. It's really strong and no matter how hard I squeeze it, it doesn't change shape. Or would you describe God as something snuggly like a duvet or this cushion or a teddy? Or like the lovely warm sunshine that just makes you feel better about everything. Last week, Reverend Phil talked a bit about writing a psalm together by putting words and pictures from different people to make one big psalm that we can display in church. If you'd like to write or draw something, maybe describing what God is to you or telling him how you feel, or thanking him for all the amazing things that you enjoy, well, that would be great. But for now, let's just put our arms down by our sides and feel what we're sat on. It might be a chair or the floor. Whatever it is, it's holding you safely, just like God. So as we think about that, Let's say that prayer again. Father God, thank you that you are with us. When things change and when things stay the same, thank you that you love us. Thank you that your love for us is strong and never changes. Amen. 
if you do write or draw something to be part of our big psalm, I can't wait to see what you do. But until then, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.